Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect a custom domain to your ClickFunnels account, and then we'll get a, into a little bit about domain settings and page pass and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here we are inside of ClickFunnels, and we're gonna to go to our menu and account settings. And then we wanna go over here on the left-hand side, and we wanna go ahead and click on domains. And we wanna go ahead and add a new domain. Now they give us two options here, so we can either register a domain or add our own domain, and we're gonna add our own domain, but I'll talk about registering a new domain real quick. So if you go through this process here, the register a new domain process, you're, you're registering your domain through ClickFunnels and they mark up the price of domains. It's like 20 bucks for a .com address, whereas if you use like Namecheap, I think it's like $11, or GoDaddy, it's around $10. So anyway, it's more expensive and you have less control if you go through ClickFunnels for domain registration. So I don't recommend doing this option. Instead, go get your domain. Namecheap's what I use, but anywhere else. And then you can still use that domain to operate your ClickFunnels account. And you'll go through this option here. So add your own domain. So let's go ahead and click into here real quick. And then we go ahead and add our domain. So you can add either a root domain or a base domain. So that's like, you know, crazyoutmarketing.com. Or you could add a subdomain. So it could be like funnels.crazyoutmarketing.com. So you could do subdomains or root domains. In this particular example, I'm doing a, a actual domain, a root domain. So it's gonna be cfcoursev4.com. So that's exciting. And I'll go ahead and leave the www in there and throw in my domain. And if this domain is registered on Cloudflare, you'll select that box. If not, just click add domain. And we get a great job message right here. Now, if you're not watching this video, you can pay attention to you know the tutorial ClickFunnels gives you, or you could just watch my video here since you're already doing it. So I'm gonna close this real quick. And then it gives us some steps here. So in order for your custom domain to work, you'll need to log into where you bought your domain and add a C name record that points www at target.clickfunnels.com. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm using Namecheap. But this, the process remains the same whether you're using Namecheap or GoDaddy or some other domain registrar. You need to go in and you need to edit your DNS records. That's what it's called. DNS settings, records, something that effect. We see in Namecheap here, I have advanced DNS. So I'm gonna click into here real quick. And it tells us to set up a C name that points www at target.clickfunnels.com. Okay, so come in here and we see that I have a C name record already created. The host is www and the value, I need to go ahead and swap this out. So let me go target.clickfunnels.com, TTL, I'm gonna change it to automatic and I'm gonna hit check for save settings. So just like that, I've created a C name record. You see C name record with www pointing at target.clickfunnels.com and then TTL is automatic. So that, that's what I had to do first. So then I come over here to, I've done this step and it goes out and it checks and it might take, it can take up to 24 hours for, you know, the things to process. Um, fortunately, it went very quickly while I'm recording this, but it can take up to 24 hours. So if you don't get this message right away, it, it's okay. So anyway, there we go. Great job. It's registered, ready to go. Now I can go ahead and select what funnel I want to like connect to my domain, or I can just do, just show me my domains. I'm going to do just show me my domains because I'm going to go through and manually uh, pick what funnel, you know, goes with what domain and so on. So here we are in the domains area and we got a couple things we want to go ahead and do. First and foremost, we got to verify it. So let's click into here and do edit. And we see the option up here, domain settings will not take effect until everything has been verified. So let's do verify real quick. And so we get a message, your domain is currently being processed. We will notify you once everything is good to go. And so there we go. It didn't go as fast as I thought it would. We have to wait a little bit of time before we can move on to the next step. So I'll pause the video and be right back. Alrighty, so our domain verified and now we wanna go adjust some settings real quick. So click on the three little dots over here and click on edit. And the first setting we have is default page right here. So this would be the page somebody goes to if they go directly to your root domain. So if somebody went to cfcoursev4.com, this is where the, the page that they would land on if they type that into their browser. And so you could expand it here. And basically you're just selecting a funnel and a page of that funnel that would direct them. So let me just do dummy order form and hit save for the sake of this example here. And then 404 air page. So this would be if they went to like cfcoursev4.com slash blah, blah, blah. And there is no blah, blah, blah there. Well, then it'd forward them automatically to an air page or 404 page, right? So if a page does not exist, this is the page that they would land on. And we'll just take, take them to our dummy order form page 
here in this case as well. And then we have a domain forwarding option. So this could be like if you have a funnel that exists out there and then you get rid of that funnel, well then you can make that you know page path redirect to another page or something like that. So it's kind of handy. Uh, we're gonna expand it real quick and you can see kind of how it goes. So here's the priority, uh, the pattern that you know somebody would be following. So C, C F course, V, com slash shoes so let's say I had a funnel that was slash shoes and you know I got rid of that funnel so now it'd be slash feet or something like that you know a different funnel that I direct them to because my shoes funnel is no longer available so then I could you know set it active and set to exact or partial match of URL so whatever is relevant here I'll just go ahead and save it real quick no big deal the next option is to edit zone records and I don't think we can, yeah, we can't do this because this is only available if you purchase your domain through ClickFunnels, which I don't recommend doing. So of course you're editing your, your DNS settings over in your domain registrar. In my case, it's Namecheap. So that, that's where you'd go ahead and edit your zone records is with your domain registrar. Next thing you wanna go ahead and do is make sure that SSL is set up and ClickFunnels automatically set this up for me apparently. So I didn't have to go in here and do anything, but uh, you want to make sure that it is enabled for your domain. So if it's not enabled and you see a little option here that says like click to enable for your domain, you want to go ahead and click that so that way your domain is secure and you're able to process credit card transactions and all that type of stuff. So you want to make sure SSL is active. And then finally, you could go ahead and remove your domain from ClickFunnels if you want to do that. So that's how you add a domain and edit some of the settings. Now, how you apply the domain to a funnel is you go to that funnel. So let me load up my dummy funnel here and we'll go ahead and connect the domain to this particular funnel. So if we're looking at one of my pages here, we see that ClickFunnels gave me a domain already, nathancfcourse5.clickfunnels.com and so on. So I really want it to be that CF or the cfcoursev4.com domain. That's what I wanna do. So I come up here to my funnel level settings, which is in the, the blue area. So I click on settings here. And this is where I'll go ahead and set the domain for my funnel. So I do domain and cfcoursev4. And then I can also change the path. So maybe I'll just call it dummy instead of dummy seven, whatever that was. And then we can come on down here and do save and update settings. And now if I come up here and I copy the path to my funnel, hit copy right there, and I paste it in my address bar, we see that it is automatically my domain and dummy. So if somebody clicked on that or followed that link, it'd bring them to the front page of my funnel, which happens to be this order form right here. And the order form has a page path as well. So we need to go ahead and adjust our page path of our, our pages as well. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So let me go to my order form page. And the first place where we can adjust our page path is in the publishing area. So click on publishing. And we can say, instead of order form 7P7, we'll just call it order form and update funnel step. And so now I can send people directly to this page path right here if I want them to go to my order form. So we go order form and it forwards them to a page that's order form with a bunch of numbers after it. So there's a third place that you can go ahead and change your page path or domain. So you come in here and you have your variants here. So you have a variant right here. And if you're doing a split test, you'd have a variant over here. So if you're having split tests, you'll need to change your variant or your page path on both variants. To do that, you click on this little gear icon you see that you have your page path for your variant. And so for this example, I might call this, you know, variant A. So if I hit update page, and now if I send somebody to my, my funnel, it'll automatically, my, my dummy link, it'll automatically forward them to the first page of my funnel. And the first page of my funnel isn't published yet. And the second page of my funnel isn't published yet. So it goes to the, the first page that is published, which is my order form page. So it'll automatically take them, send them to this page path, and then that'll automatically send them to the page path that I define here at the variant level. So let's go ahead and go to dummy real quick, and it'll go to the order form page path, and then it'll go to order form A, as we see right here. We didn't see it say order form because it went so quick to order form variation A that you know, we didn't see that transition, but it did happen behind the scenes. And so this is how you get to the final destination of your page path is with whatever you assign at the variant level right here. But of course I could send somebody here or I could send somebody uh, to the domain and page path of my particular funnel as well. So that's how you go ahead and you connect an external domain to your ClickFunnels account, how you set up some of the basic settings and also how you assign that domain to your funnel and also adjust the page path so that they're nice and pretty and all that type of stuff. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate your sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.